Well, hello, church. I wanted to post this video to inform you about the, the weeks to come this week and next week. Of course, you know, this Sunday is Palm Sunday. I'm looking forward to hearing the sermon from Pastor Stephen. And the following week, of course, is the Passion Week. And beginning on Tuesday, every day from Tuesday through Sunday, we're going to be offering a, a time of teaching from one of our elders on the Passion Week, um, specific different topics, different passages of Scripture, specifically to prepare our hearts to celebrate the resurrection of our Savior. Yes, I know this is going to be different, and we're not going to be dressing up in our best and coming together on Sunday to worship uh, the Lord the way we normally do on Easter Sunday, but that doesn't mean that we, can, we can't take the time to prepare our hearts, come together, even if it's just online, to pre really prepare for a wonderful time of worship and celebration. Regardless of our circumstances, we can always be ready to worship the Lord and, and praise Him for the wonderful miracle of a resurrected Savior. Along with the sermons that are going to be posted, we're going to have some music that we're offering you, not just, not only uh, YouTube videos that we'll just post, but our music team is working with the media team uh, together to offer you uh, some more intimate, more personal time of worship put together by our music leaders, and we're looking forward to uh, receiving that from them, that encouragement, that leadership into a time of singing and praise. Finally, I wanted to encourage you to be in prayer. Every one of us is going through a difficult time, a different time, whether it's physically because of the coronavirus or even financially or socially or psychologically because of the social distancing that has been put in place. But we who have Christ uh, are always and can always be in fellowship with Him. And it, because we have the love of Christ in us, we have this great treasure that we can share with others. So I ask you to be in prayer in the next coming weeks who you can specifically reach out to. Maybe you're good at baking uh, goodies that you can put in a box and in a package and, and send to them. Maybe you just need to send a letter or a card to somebody to encourage them or invite them to uh, join you online for one of the Passion Week services or the Sunday service. Uh, we want to proclaim the name of Jesus. We want to shine the light of Christ to a dark and, and needy world, specifically in this time of, of fear and doubt and confusion. We who are in Christ, we have no confusion about the things that really matter. We have no doubt about the ultimate conclusion of the culmination of all things, that which we look forward to. And we want to use that confidence, that hope. We want to live in that hope and share it with others. Whoever God has laid it upon your heart to do, whoever God has laid upon your heart to reach out to, I pray this is a season of proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ, the love of Jesus, both in word and in deed. I'm, I'm praying and wishing that you all have a wonderful, uh, worshipful time this Easter season. And may God continue to build His church through these circumstances uh, so that he would get all the glory and we would experience all the joy. God bless.